everything for freely is food. If it's not about food, what's the point? I keep getting sucked back in. I keep getting sucked back in <laughs> to freely content. Someone commented they wanted me to check out uh, a recent video she did about Abby Sharp. So I went to Freely's channel and didn't even see anything on Abby Sharp because this caught my eye, this thumbnail for her video on Ravana's meaty fertility diet. This looks like one of those like anti-vegan thumbnails, anti-vegan video where they're comparing two completely different photos, different lighting, all of that. I mean, what... What is this? Implying that before when she was eating basically Freely's diet, a high fruit, low fat diet, she was glowing and in a in a very orange room. And then on a meat heavy diet, she what stops wearing makeup and has wet hair too. Like clearly she just got out of the shower. I don't, oh my God. It's just gross, really. It's just looking for any little thing because you don't like the way someone eats. And to be clear, I don't like the way Yovana eats now. The last I saw, she was eating like a fair bit of meat. Of course, I don't like when people go back to eating meat. And I had a lot to say about Yovana's apology and her still monetizing vegan content after no longer being vegan and speaking out against veganism in that apology video. She is still monetizing raw vegan stuff. Three $1 raw vegan recipes. I mean, her views are shit now, so I get it. So are mine. I get it. <laughs> I'm slightly sympathetic. Anyway, Ravana, Yovana's meaty fertility diet review. So for those who don't know, Yovana used to go by Ravana and she did kind of the fully raw, freely thing. I mean, a lot of people called her like a fully raw, fully raw Christina clone, just going by how she filmed stuff. You know, it was very, very similar. Whatever, who cares? Uh, yeah, she ate lots of fruit, some vegetables, low fat, 80-10-10 style, and then got caught eating fish. I can't remember exactly how it happened. I think she was at a restaurant and someone came by and was filming her, filming, and she tried to like hide her food. It was not it was not a good look. She does have a baby now. I checked her Instagram and she had a baby very recently, I think just in the last few months. Uh, it looks like this video is from about a year ago, April 15th, 2021. So I guess she was trying to get pregnant. Uh, yeah, let's, let's do it. This was a little bit um, an older one, but it says plus fertility diet. Um, she talked a lot here and I didn't listen to it because I just want to get to the the food, right? Okay, so she skips the first four minutes of the video. I mean, maybe that was her explaining stuff. I don't know. Okay, so I'm gonna go watch that, I guess. So to sum up, she did get pregnant, but unfortunately miscarried at 12 weeks. And so then she went to a naturopath doctor. Uh, many of you know how I feel about naturopath doctors. They are not doctors. They are not MDs. They often recommend quack shit. They often recommend lots of supplements. And that seems to be what hers has done. The first thing I did was I went with my naturopathic doctor in Newport Beach and he sent me to get some lab tests. So basically what he did is he gave me some lab tests to do day three, 12 and 21 of my cycle because he wanted to see how my hormones were behaving throughout my menstrual cycle. And he did find some interesting things and with the results, he gave me a protocol. So basically the protocol um, contains several things. One is the diet. So he put me on a very high protein, high veggie diet and he excluded uh, all common allergens. Is she allergic? to the major allergens, removes all of those from her diet because that is not something a uh, an actual MD would do. And while fertility is very, very complex and often has nothing to do with diet, the limited evidence we have linking diet to fertility does not suggest eating tons and tons of beef. I'm sure, I'm just assuming, but I'm assuming there's gonna be red meat in this. Um, yeah, it certainly doesn't suggest like a high animal protein diet. If anything, it suggests a plant-based like Mediterranean style diet. And then the supplements, most of them other than that Vita Tex complex, I'm sure that's bullshit. Maybe not, but probably. You know, zinc, vitamin E, okay. But like, is there evidence that she's deficient in those things? And also if he's recommending her eating a bunch of animal protein, then she's going to get tons of zinc. Why, why would you recommend she also take a zinc supplement on top of that? 
yeah, naturopaths suck. Please stop going to them. I'm sure they mean well. They're just glorified snake oil salesmen. Typically, an MD would not recommend you make all these changes, number one, at one time, but really at all after one miscarriage. Miscarriages, as awful as they are, are very, very common. Less common once you get that far along, 12 weeks. But even still, a doctor would not recommend you change your diet and do all these other things after one miscarriage. I think most of them would recommend that you try again when you feel ready. I do appreciate her saying, this is what my doctor recommended to me. Um, you know, go see your doctor. I mean, can you imagine Freely saying like, hey, but this is just my way of eating. Like, go see your doctor. <laughs> can you imagine Freely ever recommending someone to go talk to a doctor? Which is not surprising, right? Because there's no doctor who would recommend what Freely recommends. Just recommend that you live on like 99% fruit. But I do find it interesting. I mean, I'm gonna try not to speculate. I, I find it pretty lame that Freely didn't include any of that in this because it gives you some backstory. It gives you her reasoning for following this. A, a doctor, you know, a naturopath, but I'm sure to her, a doctor, someone in a position of authority has instructed her to eat this way. She did experience something really, really sad, obviously. I mean, it seemed like she was getting choked up just in the brief second she talked about it. It would give a little bit of context, I think, to what her diet is going to look like, which I'm sure is, you know, not going to be freely approved or, or vegan approved, certainly, and maybe help, you know, humanize her a, a little bit and kind of help us see where she's coming from. So it's really a shame that Freely would not include any of that. I'm not saying that was intentional. I mean, the way she talked was like she didn't even watch it at all. She just skipped <laughs> through the whole thing. Okay, whatever. Let's see the diet. And as you can see, oh. my cast iron is pretty... Yikes. Um, has she already cooked something in it? Seasoned. And that's how you treat these uh, cast iron. That's uh, a dirty cast iron. That's not a seasoned cast iron. You do want a cast iron seasoned and you don't need animal fat to do that, but you do need oil and you want it to bake in to the cast iron itself, polymerize. You don't want like a thick layer like that on top. I mean, maybe she just cooks something. I don't know. But if, if that's like a, a pan that hasn't been cooked in and it's just always like that. No, 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 no. Incorrect. Just going straight in there with the minced muscle tissue of an animal. That is gross. And you hear what she said. I just like to cook it in here because it tastes really good. I mean, does she really care about her fertility? It does not sound like it. So again, maybe if Freely had watched the first part, she would have some context there. She's doing this because she thinks it will help her fertility. She's doing what some naturopath said to do, and she cooks it this way because it tastes good. I mean... What I love about ground beef is that it's really, really easy and quick to cook. So oh, if you ever want just like a nutritious, quick, easy meal... This no! <laughs> it's not nutritious to eat the rump of a cow or eat the muscle tissue, any parts of the cow. It is not nutritious. I wish I could just make a video and just say things and just have no sources. It just, it's just not nutritious. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> I mean, it is nutritious in the sense that there are vital nutrients contained in red meat. Are there better for foods you can eat? Certainly. I think many would argue that legumes, soy, Lentils, chickpeas, etc., are better sources of protein because they have fiber and antioxidants and don't have things that could possibly be not super great for us. But there's always a healthier option, right? I mean, chickpeas are great, but there are other legumes that are better. Lentils are better. Black beans in terms of antioxidants. And it also depends, like, what else are you eating? She's eating meat and a bunch of vegetables. Probably not the worst thing, which is why for me it always comes back to ethics, which freely is right about in order for that to get that flesh to get to you was a whole horrible process it was not quick it wasn't painless and really if i had to choose just looking at fertility alone if i had to choose between freely's way of eating yovana's way of eating i i would absolutely choose yovana's i assume there's gonna be a lot of protein there a lot of fat. Being super, super thin is one of the worst things you can do for fertility. I mean, I would rather be slightly overweight than even like low end of normal if I were trying to get pregnant. Which may explain why Freely does not care about her reasons for fertility, because Freely was one of the big promoters of 
not having kids among vegans several years ago, she and Durian Ryder and a few others, not just saying, hey, we don't want kids, but also like you shouldn't have kids. It's selfish. It's selfish, but it's also like a huge burden and can ruin your body. <laughs> so it's not surprising to me that she doesn't care about the backstory and probably would not care about Yovana's struggles. This is gross. I mean, like, honestly, this is gross. This is her breakfast. It's just red meat, deer, it's venison, and ghee. Now I add the spinach. Oh, some life, finally. Some life goes in there to be killed by the pan. What? Wait, is Freely, like, pro raw vegan foods have a life force? Oh my lord. I mean, that's how that sounds to me. I'm not sure how to take that. Other than foods have a, a life force, and when you cook them, you kill the life force. It shouldn't be surprising. This is someone who believes that if you just keep eating excess calories from fruit, you will somehow one day magically stop gaining weight and even lose that weight you gained. So let me just remind you that Yovana was at one point doing really well on a fruit-based diet. She was getting great results and she was doing raw till four at one point. She was doing like the frugivore diet and that is outlined in my book, Go Fruit Yourself, where I actually lost 40 pounds on a raw food lifestyle, which is the frugivore diet. You can watch that video. I did something about, you know, freely lies or delusions. Um, it's information from a couple other YouTubers who dug through all of her posts and whatnot. Uh, you know, typically I'm not a fan of that sort of thing. I'm not a fan of dragging people's old comments and whatnot. But when you are promoting this diet and saying, this is how I lost this weight by my book, it's a little bit different. You know, I have no problem with people going back and, and actually trying to see, are you telling the truth? And it seems like Freely is not when it comes to her diet and her weight loss eating excess calories from fruit. Second, what is this? Before on alcohol, meat, and dairy. Okay, you have a super pixelated. She's like thin there. What are you even talking about? What? After on fruit-based. Okay, a much better quality photo in totally different lighting. And it's like staged. She's clearly, I don't think she's just walking around like this smiling. I think she was expecting a photo to be taken. And then in the final one, again, totally different lighting inside. Uh, very, very orange, and it's a video, it's a still from a video. What, what am I, what, <laughs> what am I supposed to be able to tell from this? Again, gross. If you have good quality, it's gonna be better for you. Here how, how about the actual animal? Um, and how about it actually living a quality life rather than ending up on your plate for a five minute meal? It's a good question. I wonder if she asked the doctor if she could eat you know, plant-based protein or if it had to be animal protein. I know she's avoiding all the major allergens, including soy, but certainly there are other sources of plant protein besides soy. This is her breakfast. This is it. I can't believe I haven't seen this before. This is absolutely atrocious. It, it couldn't get much worse. I mean, to be clear, it could get much worse, right? You could have like a, a sugary cereal. I mean, you just have sugar. <laughs> be pretty bad, although I'm sure Freely would say that that's better than this, but, uh, you know, or just oil or something. Um, but it doesn't look appetizing, certainly. Just meat and spinach and ghee and sea salt. I feel like every time I see one of these like carnivore-esque or, or uh, very meat-heavy kind of meals, they're just so simple like that and really sad. Like, I, I feel like you can make meat tastier than that. Now that's coming from someone who never liked red meat and just well before I was vegan, I didn't eat it much at all because it's disgusting and it has that really, oh, just that flavor. It's fucking gross. But I'm sure you could make it tastier than that. Like, are they just anti-spices? Like, are they so anti-plants that they can't use spices? And she has makeup on at the moment. So you can't just see the true surface of her skin. Okay. Just remember that. Okay. It might look shiny or whatever because of makeup is she saying she didn't have makeup on here what like wh why does that only apply when she's no longer vegan clearly she is wearing makeup in this second one clearly she is wearing makeup in this third one at least something on her lips it looks like uh, mascara as well slowly as i started doing it i actually started enjoying it and i've been feeling really good on it yeah yeah and um, we really don't believe you <laughs> because you've been a compulsive life since the start. Like, you know, we all know 
she has been lying, lying, lying for a very long time. And, um, you know, she was lying and she was eating the flesh of fish when she was saying she's vegan. And, but every time she does something, she's like, I feel amazing. It's like, so when do you ever really can believe what she's saying? You can't. Fair enough, kind of. I mean, I don't know if she's lying or not. And I think even with the fish thing, I can understand she wasn't feeling well. She started maybe experimenting with animal products and just wasn't sure when to relay that to her audience. And then she got caught and it was very, very awkward. I find that more believable than she was just like, oh, I'm eating animal products now and I'm just never going to tell. I'm just going to keep pretending that I'm vegan forever. But the point is, neither of us know. Um, and I don't know what else she's talking about. I mean, all of the lying, but certainly the, oh, I feel great on this. Yeah, she said she felt great when she was eating tons of fruit. I mean, all these people do, right? They say they feel great on every single diet they try. So yeah, I mean, I, I'm not saying she's lying. I think placebo effect, you know, I think she wants this to work and she obviously now it's not just about her feeling good. It's also about trying to have a baby. So she's really incentivized to believe this is going to work and to believe her doctor and she probably does feel better. It doesn't mean that the diet is better for her or is really doing much of anything. It could be, you know, maybe she wasn't having anything for breakfast before or was having something really light and now she's having something more substantial and she feels better, right? Um, yeah, so I, I understand what Freely's saying there, but, you know, you, you don't have to be so harsh about it. But again, this is coming from someone who does not care about fertility, right? She has no interest in fertility. She has no interest in kids. She's totally on a different wavelength here, right? <laughs> when compared to someone like Yovana or me. Um, I mean, I don't really care about fertility anymore because this is my final child. My final child. But certainly I care for other women and I would hate for women to follow, for instance, Freely's way of eating, which is very, very likely not good for fertility. Took a shower and now I'm gonna make my post-workout protein smoothie. She looks very washed out to me. I was literally about to pause the video and say, what is she gonna say about how she looks right now? Her skin and everything looks washed out. She does not look the picture of health like she used to. I'm laughing because I can't help it, but this is shitty. She was just talking about makeup and you can't trust what her skin looks like. She's wearing makeup. She is wearing makeup on the left in that still from that video. She is, number one, the quality between the two, there's no comparison, right? The quality is much better on the right. Uh, but even on the left, even with the poor quality, you can still tell she is clearly wearing makeup. Her hair is all done. She's like prepared to make a nice fancy video with her earrings and her shirt and everything. Whereas the one on the right, it's supposed to be more just like, hey, she just took a shower. She might have something on, I don't know, but you know, in the looking washed out, again, the lighting is totally different. The lighting on the left is very, very, very yellow. Um, she might be more tan as well, which we know how Freely feels about not being tan. When you're not tan, you're just automatically anemic and sickly looking. <laughs> Some of us care about wrinkles and uh, skin cancer Freely. So, I mean, she looks basically the same to me. Oh, and hey, she's promoting paid partnership with Light Life made with simple ingredients that I know and recognize. I have a whole video on their little campaign to separate themselves from other plant-based brands. Yeah, again, we don't buy Light Life anymore, but uh, yeah, look, she's promoting vegan stuff. Hey, cool. I don't know, man. She looks like the same to me. <laughs> she looks like exactly the same to me, but I don't have an ax to grind here. I don't really have a message to send other than like, don't do this. You know, just don't, whether they're vegan or carnivore or whatever, just, you, you just don't do this. We got protein smoothie and I'm going to be using uh, this protein that I'm trying out. The brand is New Zest and it's a chocolate flavor. Pea protein. Hey, cool. $45 for 20 servings. That shit better taste like straight up ice cream. There's no way it does. I bet it's got stevia in it too. No chemicals, no additives. Oh, this shit is gross. So you can get the Just Natural, which is just pea protein. Is that still $45? It's still $45 for 20 servings and it's just pea protein. Smooth vanilla pea protein isolate, natural vanilla flavor, thal thalmatin? Thalmate? I don't know what that is. Low calorie sweetener and flavor mod modifier. Oh, okay, so it is an alternative sweetener. Perception lasts a long time, leaving a licorice-like aftertaste at high concentrations. Okay, no, <laughs> not for me. But still, very cool. I'm always interested in more alternative sweeteners. I despise most of them, though. When you think about this breakfast that she has, 
it's so low in volume okay always need to make a point of that it's so low in volume okay this the satiation just isn't there the volume isn't there so her stomach won't, will not expand the receptors will not send that message to the brain to stop eating so she's going to be hungry very very soon afterwards so volume is very very important but so is protein and there is some a lot of individual variants here you know some people can eat a meal like that meat and spinach thing and feel satisfied because of the amount of protein and the amount of fat and feel satisfied for a long time. For other people, they need to have more volume in their meal. So adding some, I don't know, potatoes or rice or more vegetables or whatever could really help. Some fruit on the side, whatever. I know Freely would be against that. You don't eat fruit with meat and other things, food combining nonsense. So then I think you would want to ask, like, is this person struggling with weight loss or are they struggling to get enough nutrients, right? Because if you're struggling to eat enough and to get enough nutrients, then the last thing you wanna do is focus on high volume foods. And I mean, looking through Yovana's stuff, again, this is from about a year ago. So we can actually look and see, assuming she ate this diet for a long time, like, did she struggle with her weight? Did she gain a bunch of weight? Well, yeah, because she got pregnant. <laughs> I mean, that was the intended result, right? The <laughs> point is, if a diet is working for someone, if we're just looking at the diet and the effect on the person, it doesn't really matter if that's low volume for you. Clearly, it's not for them if they find it satiating and they can maintain a healthy weight. I mean, I'm sure she would be amazed at how small some of my meals are, I, I physically cannot eat a lot. Even when I'm not pregnant, just getting older, I've found that my meals have gotten a bit smaller and sometimes they're like shockingly small. I just can't, it's uncomfortable to fit a whole lot of food in my tum tum sometimes. But particularly now being pregnant, close to my third trimester, I can't eat large meals. It is awful. I'm just like, look, that's a tiny, tiny serve. That looks like a good amount to me. I don't, okay. But remember, Freely's been eating this diet for a long, long time, for many years. I think she started maybe around the time I first went vegan, or I, I'm trying to remember because I was on some of like the vegan and raw vegan forums, and I think she started popping up around that time. So it's definitely been like over a decade that she's been doing this. And your stomach stretches. You get used to eating lots and lots of food and it's hard to feel satisfied on lower volumes. That was something I struggled with when I started eating cooked foods again. I would have like a huge salad with a cup of lentils and a cup of rice and avocado and I would still feel hungry afterwards because it was less volume than what I was used to eating when I was having a meal of like six mangoes and half a head or a head of romaine. <laughs> it took a while, I think, for my stomach to adjust and to finally get used to eating like normal higher volume meals, right? Normal fibrous meals. To be clear, I still eat lots of fiber. I regularly eat like double the recommendations a day. I have like huge bowls of fruit almost every single day. I have a big old bowl of fruit. I mean, it would be small. It's all relative, right? To freely, it would be tiny. But uh, for most people, like it's a big old bowl of fruit. It's like one to two Italfo mangoes and you know, half of a cup of strawberry and cantaloupe and then grapes. I used to eat like four times that. Point is volume is important, but so are nutrients. And sometimes eating tons and tons of volume makes it really hard to get enough of certain nutrients. Don't try and tell me that this looks better than a fruit meal. She can afford a mango meal right now, but she's going in for the rice. And of course I don't have anything against rice, not re well, some things for sure, but it's not optimal, that's for sure. So she used to be more pro rice, right? So, so it seems like she really has gone back to the to the raw kind of anti-cooked, maybe not as anti, right? She, she and Durian Wright used to say that cooked food is poison. She probably doesn't say that anymore. Pots and pans from the same brand here. I have that pot there. Rosé blend, <laughs> organic rosé. I love how quickly she gets bored when it's not something directly about food. She just like starts skipping. I think she did that in mine too. It's like whenever I started talking about, you know, kids or like every anything else is going on, she's just like, okay, like let's get back to the food. <laughs> it's just like everything for Freely is food. If it's not about food, what's the point? And for those of you that didn't know, arugula is a cruciferous vegetable. It's tomato. She's like, don't educate me, bitch. <laughs> don't educate me about raw foods. I know more than you. Dressing, and the first ingredient is olive oil. <laughs> what? 
Well, she used to be so against the lamp oil. Did she say lamp oil? Is she calling olive oil lamp oil? Oh, I love that. Like, not only is it a, a refined, like, extracted food, you know, from the whole thing, it's lamp oil, right? To make it sound even less, like, edible and good for you. That's amazing. Half a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. Okay. I mean, it's, you're just mm. better off to get, like, that kind of sour acid hit from vitamin c you know from your fruit i mean she's already eating a bunch of greens she's getting lots of vitamin c honey honey yeah. okay so you know this is what happens they end up having honey because they're not having enough fruit and that's what she's doing <laughs> or because it's easier to flavor things like a dressing with a honey or a maple syrup or just sugar than it is with fruit and often fruit has extra flavor that maybe you don't want in there you know like maybe using orange juice or something it's gonna be weird in there and she doesn't want that flavor i don't know and when i ate the way freely did which was eating 2500 calories plus a day from fruit i just wanted food all the time i kept eating and eating and eating and then when i stopped doing that and ha started having a salad at the end of the day i felt much better but i still like I was so excited for that salad every night. <laughs> like I would have a giant salad with a, uh, you know, kind of fatty dressing made from like pistachios, avocado, stuff like that. And man, did I look forward to that. And not like a, ooh, this is going to be good, but like, I cannot wait. I cannot wait for that salad. And I would spend 30 to 40 minutes just making the salad, one salad for myself every night. <laughs> you know, if someone wants to do that and they're happy, whatever, but to me, that's that's a lot of time, number one, to spend on food just for yourself. And number two, I don't like that feeling. It's just so over the top, like excited and thinking about food. I really don't like that. I, I don't feel that way at all when I just eat a normal vegan diet. I mean, sure, I get excited. You know, I get excited about getting dough donuts or if I'm really, really hungry and making like salads right now. I really do love my salads with maybe some like tenders on top or pan fried chickpeas, avocado dressing, all of that. But it's not that same almost feverish feeling. Like, like <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't know. Probably a lot of you don't know what I mean, which is good. <laughs> Point is this idea that just eating tons of fruit will keep you from wanting other foods. In my experience, no, not at all. If anything, it made me want savory foods even more. I mean, it'd be good if she just stopped, you know, just stop there and put like mangoes. Added some mangoes in there. The video is getting close to done. It's got like four to five minutes left and she hasn't even talked about fertility at all. Freely hasn't. So um, I don't know. That's interesting. I mean, clearly that's the kind of point of this diet she's eating of this of her video Yovana's video she's eating this way for fertility and again freely just has no interest if it's not about food if it's not about fruit don't care i don't know i just expected more like all that fat is actually bad for fertility you need fruit or something but like there's just no mention of it it's uh, very weird favorite part of this video is eating for sure okay um <laughs> she's trying to get vitamin c from kombucha because her fertility diet is desperately deficient i mean she would have gotten a good amount from those greens um is that what she said in the video god damn it okay she doesn't say anything about vitamin c i don't know why freely is assuming it's about that she's just drinking it while she does the dishes that's all she says dorian is preparing this wow yeah see this is a part of the reason she went off track because she's with this dorian guy he, um, yeah, I mean, like I see this all the time. These women, they get with guys eating a lot of flesh and they can convince them to give up eating plants. Again, with the just assuming, not even speculating, but saying like, this is why she stopped being vegan. I think she tried to say that for me too. I remember in one of the videos I was reacting to, she was trying to say that my partner was big on protein and whatnot and I was saying how funny it was because boy has never been inside of a gym in his life. He's been vegan longer than me. <laughs> I'm not saying it doesn't play a role. Who knows? I wouldn't be surprised. I'm sure lots of people, men and women, have changed their diet based on their partner, right? That's not shocking at all. She can't possibly know for sure what kind of influence he's had on Yovana's. Yeah, Freely loves to talk about how, how gross the food is from like a 
you know, oh, it's, it's pig's ass or like, whatever, you know, a lot of vegans do that. Oh, milk pus and all of that. Kind of the yuck factor thing. I don't find it particularly convincing. I think all food, when you think about it long enough, is pretty fucking disgusting. I mean, plants grow in dirt. It's nasty. I don't think it being gross or like offending uh, your, your senses is a good enough reason to not eat something. We have garlic, paprika, black pepper, honey, honey, uh, cayenne. Trying to make it like a fruit. Trying to make the flesh like fruit. And <laughs> it's not even worth commenting on that. Okay. Look how tiny the serve is. You know, hand is here because she's calorie restricting and um, carb restricting. This is so unsatisfying. Wow. She's talking about the meat. Does she want her to have more meat? I mean, clearly she doesn't, but like, I don't know, that's good that she's having a pretty small serving of meat. The cauliflower rice and the bell pepper and some sort of bread thing there. She's trying to get fertile and she's eating, under eating for a start, under eating and eating an abundance of animal fat. Okay. And protein. It's just, it's, yeah, for me, this is very blah. Very cruel, very no, if you want to become fertile. Very blah, very cruel, very no, if you want to become fertile. <laughs> Good arguments, freely. Uh, I don't know what the cruelty of the diet has to do with fertility, unfortunately, unless she believes that, you know, the the uh, stress of the animal is getting into us and affecting our ability to procreate or something. She believes in living foods, so, you know, wouldn't wouldn't shock me. But she's certainly right about calories. You do want to eat enough calories. Again, in terms of fertility, it's probably better to be a little bit overweight than a little bit underweight or even at the lower end of normal. I don't know how many calories she's eating. It, it's hard to tell. You know, bread can have a lot. That naan can have a lot. Cauliflower rice, maybe not. The uh, vegetables, did she cook it in a lot of oil? I don't know. She doesn't look like she needs a whole lot. I think she's fairly short. Um, is she working out? Again, it's relative, like volume, right? How many calories uh, she needs, how many calories to have a baby. And again, we already know because this was a year ago that she did end up getting pregnant. So maybe this isn't what she ate on a typical day. You know, I always say, be careful watching what I ate today is and you know, people maybe aren't necessarily lying, but they leave stuff out, right? And uh, yeah, she could certainly be eating more than this on other days. Chito, finito, and clean the plate. It was really, really, really good. She's starving, you know, she's just so hungry. That's probably why she cleaned <laughs> the plate up really good. I mean, it's good to obviously eat everything on your plate, but I just have a feeling she's under eating drastically. I feel like no matter what, Freely would have found a problem with it. Like if she had left food, it would have been well, see, because it wasn't fruit, she didn't really want it. If that had been fruit, she would have cleaned her plate. So this was my what I eat in a day for my fertility protocol. I really hope that you enjoyed this. That is not a good program for your fertility. Like starting the day like that, I just, I don't know who, who does that? Seriously. That's it. That's all she has to say about it being bad for fertility. I mean, there's just no arguments whatsoever. I thought, I, I don't know, like, is she, who is she trying to convince? Is she trying to convince anyone? I, I, who would be convinced by just, oh, wow, who eats like that? I have no problem saying someone's food is disgusting, but like, I wouldn't use that as an argument that it's bad for fertility. How does that even, okay. So yeah, Yavana, I'm not sure what she is up to these days. First month with my newborn baby vlog. Okay, so I think she had a miscarriage as well. And honestly, I'm, I'm not surprised when she's eating terribly, you know? She's not eating how a frugivore should be eating. I was going to say, well, at least she didn't talk about the miscarriage because if she, you know, she didn't watch that. So she doesn't know because otherwise she would have said, well, of course, because her diet. But uh, yeah, there, there we go. So that's the video. It's pretty, you know, typical from Freely, but... Yeah, again, that, that thumbnail and that argument is just, is just the worst. And I was kind of shocked. Again, I don't know why, <laughs> but I was kind of shocked to see that. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I think Freely did make some more response videos to me a while ago. So I don't know. I probably won't check those out, but <laughs> thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like. Uh, hit the bell if you want to be notified when I upload. Subscribe. Support the channel. Patreon.com slash unnatural vegan. I do upload two exclusive videos there a month for $5 plus patrons. Oh, hello, baby. Kicking the shit out of me now.
God damn it. And these contractions, they went on for hours yesterday. These practice contractions that aren't supposed to hurt. They do. <laughs> it's terrible. And they would not stop. I moved. I drank water. I peed a million times. Like I tried everything. They just wouldn't go away. I'm sure Freely would say I need more fruit. Who knows? Maybe I do. <laughs> anyway, thanks again, guys. New video soon. You know, I'm pregnant when I pull out my bigger Cedar Point shirts. <laughs> like, you know, the pregnancy is getting real and nothing's fitting anymore. <laughs>